Alrighty, y'all. So it has happened, right? We are doing it today. Today we are going to be doing what everybody has been wanting to know. I mean, I think the answer was quite obvious, but just for the people, I'm gonna do it, right? We are going to be showcasing. I'm putting them on the team right now. Crown versus Grave. Grave is a burst two DPS. If you don't know sub DPS, Crown is a burst two support character right so we're doing grave versus crown who's the better character the sub dps so the buffer and the damage dealer or just the supporter who can do damage as well we're going to be testing them with their best teams and the main dps of going red hood is volunteering we're using red hood as our dps here um so that it's fair use for everybody um and then we're going to use both of these characters with red hood and see what our damage is looking like my only thing is, is i'm trying to figure out how i want to do it because with obviously crown i'm trying to run her with um maybe i won't put in naga i'll figure it out but okay we're gonna we're gonna have the exact same team here we're gonna go into it let's go all right so we're gonna go in with this team right here it's a bit unfortunate because i know for a fact i'm not trying to shaft any of the two right that's not what i'm trying to do so when it comes to me putting crown on the team it's like i'm going to put i want to put naga on the team um because naga is going to heal her giving her her full ability right um the thing is like if i put another character on this team that's just a healer that's not supporting we're not like we will get so much more damage from naga being on the team with crown um because crown gives a shield and naga gives more damage when she has a shield and stuff like that it's just not fair for me right um to do like a comparison with the exact same team but after 72 million um 72 million with just burst skill and all the buffs that she's getting and okay um i shouldn't have put laplace on this team because i want to have a dedicated showcase to laplace um maybe i won't it's fine um because laplace oh my god laplace should be going crazy though genuinely with numbers like that because she has the pierce effect the whole time right there what the hell? Shout out to Laplace. She has a pierce effect right there the whole time. Um, and then obviously, boom, boom. And then there you go. Three million. No core hit crits. Four million on the core hit crits. Very powerful. Red Hood is very, very, very powerful. 185 million, right? Um, so, yeah. That's kind of crazy. And then Laplace, like, La man, Laplace with their pierce effect. All those, all those numbers right there are the pierce effect, y'all. That's a pierce effect right there she's getting. So Laplace should be up there too. 155, 53 million. Yeah. Pretty good. Pretty good. Um, the thing is, the Red Hood just has a pierce effect. Okay, what type, what was that? That's so unfair right there. Okay, no. Okay, there we go. Barely any crits. It's fine. Um, Space Boss is not even that far, is he? Oh, he's quite far, but this is, come on, you're a sniper. Get it together. What the hell? Um, And then, obviously, the cores are just going to stick. And this is kind of why I don't want Nog on the team. Because it's so unfair to have Nog on the team with Crown, where we are getting a core damage buff. And then it's like we're getting more of a buff from having Nog on the team. So, um, I guess I can do, like, just the exact same team the first time. And then I could go in one more time with you know grave and her best team with red hood and then crown and her best team with red hood i could do that as well but right now it was grave at grave is at 63 million and then red hood is at 346 million um so we're basically pretty up there for having one minute left and being at that number for red hood is quite impressive genuinely um so let's see let's see i'm actually surprised we're at that number um despite being like what are we at now 362 after 362 million we get to what we're too the boss is way too far it's fine 362 million to a whopping 428 million yeah yeah i mean we already knew red hood could do damage like that's not a surprise to me um laplace also can do damage which is not a surprise to me um especially with this buff that she's getting from grave but we're literally gonna see what's going on here um all this good stuff right here bop 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 anyways um yeah 
half a billion damage. Like, don't get me wrong. Red Hood is not like a like like Cinderella level or Scarlet level. She's not, but she's crazy with her DPS. Five hundred and forty-four million. So let's take a screenshot of that, and now we're going to compare this exact same composition with Crown, right? And we're not even gonna have Crown's full abilities because no one is going to be healing Crown. We're losing out on this attack damage buff right here. Uh, but we're only getting her first skill and her second skill. Um, oh, I, I mean, I, come on, bro. Did we not know that Crown was... I think Crown is going to be the better DPS. Like, better support, right? Just better support. Did we not think it was going to be Crown, right? Her buffs last for 15 seconds. So it's like that's an extra five seconds that all these characters are getting. It's kind of unfair. Um, like, I never thought Grave was going to be better than uh, Crown. Um, but a lot of people, I guess, think... Like, I guess thought it, but for somehow, no. I'm telling you, Crown is just too good of a character. Okay, so after the first burst skill, though, I think we got to 72 million with Grave. What are we going to get to with um, Crown here? 73 million. Ooh. Hold on. Are we on par? Hold on. Are we going to be on par? Again, Crown is losing out on a lot grave had everything activated here don't get me wrong now grave had everything activated here this is gonna be if no wait but if they're on par that is gonna kind of be embarrassing because my crown is 10 10 10 so if grave is on par with red hood like if grave and red hood damage is on par with crown and red hood damage that's gonna be mad embarrassing for crown because grave is only five 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 meaning we're losing out on all the buffs that we could possibly get i probably should have had scope lock on and i will have it on for the next run um okay well i mean we were at 544 million for red hood and grave i think honestly when it comes to pierce characters i think pierce damage buffers are just better <laughs> like genuinely than attack damage and attack buffers right like, i just think pierce damage buffers are clearly just better especially for someone like red hood who has the pierce effect every single time um, like she has the red hood, every bullet red hood shoots is a pierce buff, right? And the thing is, Grave gives a pierce buff during her burst skill and after her burst skill. So, red hood is essentially buffed with pierce damage buff the entire game with Grave, and that's kind of why like she's crazy, right? That's kind of why Grave is so crazy with red hood specifically. What's the damage looking like though? Um, are we gonna surpass? Wait. Again, we're losing out on 20% permanent attack damage buffs from, obviously, Crown. We are. I'm not going to lie. Um, because we don't have somebody on the team who's healing her. And the only other person I could have thought of was Naga. But that would just be cheating because Naga would bring the damage up insanely. Um, but... I think it's going to be less with crown, right? I think when it comes to the Pierce characters, I think it's going to be less with crown. Like P grave is going to give you more damage output with the Pierce characters than crown with her just general damaging buffs. Don't get me wrong. Grave also gives attack damage as well. This is the last burst skill and red hood got it just like in the last one as well. We're gonna see. We're gonna see. Let me. I'm not even gonna look at the damage. I'm gonna pull up thing. I'm gonna pull them both up at the same time. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Okay, but that's new damage. Okay, let me pull it up. All right, I haven't looked it. I've been looking away. Let's see. Now, Crown, who's also type advantage, did a lot more damage, obviously, with her buffs, right? Than Grave. Um, even if Grave Crown wasn't type advantage, I think she would be giving herself a lot more. But I think when it comes to Red Hood, Grave clearly, who's giving a Pierce buff to Red Hood the entire game, made Red Hood hit harder than when Red Hood is only getting a buff during her burst skill. Does that make sense? Red Hood is only ever getting a buff during her burst skill. Um, from obviously the attack buff from Crown. She's getting the attack damage buff every time, but then again, she is with Grave as well. On top of the Pierce buff. Like, she's getting that every single time. So, I think you're, it's just better to run Pierce characters 
with Grave. Obviously, I think it's just better to rub Pierce characters with Grave. That's insane, though. That's insane right there. Um, here, let me do this, though. This time, we're going to go in their scope lock. Um, and this time, we're not going to have a Pierce character, though. Right? And I think if I do that, then you're going to notice how... Um, how powerful these characters really are all right we're gonna do this run i'm not gonna have you guys watch the full three minutes of this because it's just gonna be like quite boring um so i'm just gonna go in there for a bit after the first burst kill i'm just gonna pause the video and cut you know, closer to the end of this but essentially i'm running this team right which is now we're gonna have we're gonna have at, uh what's her name naga's buff and then we're also going to have crown's buff with red hood still it's the exact same team we just switched on maxwell for naga um Let's see, right? After the first burst kill, it was 72 million with Grave, and then it was 73 million before with Crown. And what is it gonna be this time? Cause we're going to have our core hit buffs increase by, like it's just gonna, oh my God, it's so crazy. Um, let's see. Okay, so after the first burst kill, ooh, to average that much, ooh. We're missing out on some core hits there, but still, I think that's all. Yeah. It's going to be a lot more with this taunt comp, right? With Naga and Crown, it's going to be a lot more, right? But you're kind of always running Naga and Crown, right? That's kind of my whole point. So I think individually, Crown versus Grave, who's the better support? Overall, I would say it is Crown. I would say, because she was still very, very close. The thing is, my only thing is, Crown is 10, 10, 10. Grave was 5, 5, 5. And the damage output for Red Hood was still higher. So if Grave was 10, 10, 10, putting out all these buffs onto Red Hood, the damage would be higher. So I think Grave is a better burst too when you're running a Pierce team. When you're running her with a Pierce DPS, I think some, especially someone like Red Hood, someone like Alice, characters who have Pierce the entire game, I think Grave is better with them, right? Crown, I do think Crown is just a better DPS in general. Like I do, I think that's just what it is. But let me pause it, I guess, and then skip to the end. So you guys have to watch another full minute of this. All right, y'all. So we can watch for the last minute, um, right? Um, when the boss is so far away like that, like this boss is kind of closer, but the boss was so far away just a burst skill before that Red Hood literally missed every single core hit there, right? The boss is a bit closer, so she's getting it, but the boss was way back there, and she was missing every single core hit um, possible. So um, what's the damage at? Right, I don't know what the damage is gonna be. Yeah, we're just gonna have to uh there, perfect. Um I had to click it when the reload happened, so I don't freaking mess up anything. Right, but we got one more burst kill again with red hood. Damage is already surpassed. Um that's still kind of embarrassing though. Not really. Um it is, but it isn't. I don't know what Grave's best team is though. Like I, I have not used Grave enough to tell you what her best team is, but I'll figure it out after this run right here. Um again this is kind of just crazy so this is what we got now with 10 10 10 crown and naga's buff as well right so we had all of crown's effects this time we had all her buffs towards red hood and at 10 10 10 this is what it was um with i guess her best team right which would be with naga does laplace have to be there no we could have had another support but let's just have two dps and that thing right so that's what that is let me put grave's team in and let's see what that is now, I don't think this is obviously the best team, but I'm like, why not? Let me put in Alice here to kind of help out Red Hood and Grave here. Um, all right, I doubt this is their best team, right? I just put it in there because we're going to have the charge speed throughout not having her burst skill, and then we're always going to have the charge damage increase um, anytime we enter a full burst, right? Um, on top of always having the pierce effect from, or pierce damage buff from obviously Grave and then Thing, right? Okay, it's a lot less though. It's we're not even getting them core hits. It's we're not even getting them core hits. It's gonna be a lot less than what it was with the team before. Um, as you guys see, it's a far, far, far less with this composition. I'm not gonna run this. I'm not. See now, my thing is, can Crown not be considered? Like it would be silly to put Crown on this team, but like. I don't know what would I say is Graves best team. It's probably not like with these characters. Um it well it, it would be. But like who should I have in that last burst three or like last DPS? I think I might put back Maxwell, but then it doesn't change, right? So here, this is what I'm gonna say. 
All right, I'm just going to end the video here and come with my final verdict. I think out of both of the two, out of Crown and out of Grave, I think that Crown is the better Burst 2 character overall. I do. Um, I do think Crown is the better DPS um, or like Burst 2 Pilgrim overall. But I do think with Grave now being in the game, the Pierce team has overthrown the Shotgun team. I do believe that if you are going to be using Red Hood, it's in your best interest to run her with Grave than to run her with Crown. Put Crown on a different team. Have Red Hood with Grave now. That's what I'm thinking, right? Hey, put Crown with Cinderella and then put Grave with Red Hood. That's how you should do it, right? And from there, then you will kind of have your answer. Um, but I do think Grave is better with Pierce characters than with Crown, right? I think her constantly giving all Pierce characters a Pierce damage buff, especially someone like Red Hood who has the Pierce effect the entire game, is going to kind of be crazy, right? Um, other than that, I do think overall it is Crown. So you guys let me know what you think. I think it was obvious Crown was better, but Grave, let's not... Like, let, let's stop shitting on Grave for a second. I've seen a lot of people shitting on Grave as if Grave isn't good. Like, Grave is very, very good. I would generally be surprised. I don't expect them to put Grave in triple S tier on Pride Wins tier list or whatever. Even I don't think Grave is a top 10 character, right? But I do think she is SS. I do think she's S or SS, right? I would slap her in that SS tier, though, right? Because she's a very good DPS-wise type advantage or not type advantage very good with her buffing and then she just like she's very very powerful like overall the sub dps is probably the best sub dps i've seen in a long time so you guys let me know what you think if you guys agree if you don't if you do like it subscribe if you want to um it's your boy the i'm out peace